Hello YouTube, uh, this is a heat exchanger from an 8.1 Mercruiser. Uh, most of the stuff uh, I've gotten at Amazon, at that valve I got a Harbor Freight, and those stops are inch and a half I've gotten at Home Depot. Um, what's going on is uh, when you shut the engine down, you lose some of the antifreeze. And uh, since I uh, replaced it with a new one and fixed the problem, and now I'm going to pressure test this one and see if I could uh, repair it. And in the meanwhile, I'll show you how to test it. So what's going on, you'll see a little bit, I'll put a little pressure into it. There's pressure, shut it off, and it leaks right out. Uh, I'm also gonna put it into water so you can notice, you know, everything from the cooling side is sealed and the raw water side is still open. I'm gonna put it in the water here and you'll see the bubbles are coming right out of that section there. That's the raw water side, so it's definitely leaking. So with that, I'm gonna take it apart, try to clean it out, and see if I can repair it. All right, stay with me. All right, so we're back. Uh, I took the end cap off, and definitely uh, the inner tubes were leaking. I'll turn it back on, see if I can capture that. Ooh, there you go. I don't know if you see a wild one right over there. Unfortunately, there's nothing I could do for that rather than take it to a radiator shop and see if I could plug that and maybe keep it out of spare. And, yeah, that's all we got. I just put a little bit of soapy water into it. Took one end cap off. Here's the contents of that. Got a seal, the plug, an O-ring, and the cap. Not much to it. But, yeah, at least uh, you know how to test it. And with that, uh, we'll see you in the next video.